Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to Viva Mondo webinar. Today uh, we are joined by, excuse me, uh, Eska School of Management in France, who will be here to discuss reasons as to why you should apply and uh, reasons as to how you can apply to their wonderful school. Uh, now, just whilst we wait for some more students to join us, we will have uh, a little video that Helene will show you um, and of course I always always encourage you to ask questions throughout the whole webinar we will be here to take your questions at the very end of the webinar uh, if you can place your questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of our screens that will be absolutely wonderful all right so I'm going to hand you back over to Helen thank you very much Okay, so hello everyone. Thank you very much all for coming today, joining us for this presentation on study in France, study a bachelor in international management uh, in English at ESCA School of Management. So my name is Ellen Barrett and I'm in charge of international student recruitment at ESCA School of Management. So I will leave my colleague uh, introduce himself. I'm Vincent Vigou, I'm the head of international promotion and recruitment at ESCA. So just about the program for today. So we will st uh, start by introducing ourselves. So why France and who are we? Uh, then we will do focus on our undergraduate programs and especially our bachelor in international uh, management. And uh, after that, we will have a sharing session with our current bachelor students uh, from ESCA Paris, from Mexico, uh, Valentina. Um, so we're very happy uh, that she's here today. Um, and then we will have a, um, a point on uh, the application process and the scholarships available for undergraduates programs. And of course, at the end, you will have some time uh, for um, any questions you may have regarding the program or the application process. We'll have uh, all a Q&A session at the end. OK, so let's start. Thanks, Alain. Uh, so why you should choose France and you choose ESCA to do your study abroad? Um, so first of all would be the excellence uh, of education system in France. Uh, as a student, you will be also, of course, uh, be able to expand the French culture and the French lifestyle. I'm sure Valentina got some uh, very interesting uh, information about us, uh, life in France. Uh, as an international student at ESCA, uh, you will hold a visa, student visa, and with this visa, you will be able to travel outside front, inside Europe to nearly 26 countries. So it's a great way to uh, enjoy during your free time, your holidays. Um, also on campus, uh, with meeting with your uh, a colleague uh, or the student, uh, with your teachers, uh, you will be able to learn new language. And also you will have language classes. And for example, you can learn French, of course, you can learn Hungarian, you can learn Chinese or other language. Um, as a student, um, you will be able to build different kind of network inside your program and during your program. First of all, it will be a friendship program, of course, a friendship network uh, with uh, other students, uh, a professional network uh, with your work experience, and Ellen will tell you about your work uh, internship experience in the programs. Uh, that's very important for us. And uh, uh, on the next slide, we'll talk about international career opportunities and how uh, the French higher uh, uh, education and a French degree are recognized worldwide. 
So to give you an idea, uh, so it's a very uh, recent survey from Time Higher Education in UK uh, who rank uh, the global employability from a degree worldwide. And as you can see, France is very, very well ranked as number two worldwide for the global employability from a degree from France. Uh, it was a survey by Imaging and Time Higher Education. Uh, just to come back very quickly, because you may not know this part, the European education system uh, for higher education study, uh, it's a, what we call a 358 um, level of higher education. The first level is three years after high school. It's a bachelor degree or licence in French. The second level will be after five years of higher education. It's a master degree. And the last one will be a PhD. Now we'll focus on ESCA and main fact about ESCA. ESCA is a business school. It's a school of management. It was not created five or 10 years ago, but now uh, uh, 112 years old, actually. Uh, it's a member of the equivalent of the Ivy League in the US. It's called Conférence des Grandes Écoles in France. Uh, all of our degree in bachelor and master degree are fully accredited by the French government. That's very important for yourself. And of course, uh, most important, and we're very, very proud about it, uh, ESCA is part of the triple accredited or triple crown uh, business school worldwide and only one out of 100 business school worldwide are triple accredited. ASCSB with an American accreditation, Equis with a European accreditation and AMBA with an accreditation from the UK. Some key figures about ESCA, uh, we are very proud because we are a non-profitable organization run by an association. Uh, we've gone between 6,000 to 7, thousand students uh, worldwide on, on our three countries in on eight campuses. Uh, we've got around 500 um, faculty members and we've got a very wide uh, um, network of university partner in more than 55 countries worldwide. Uh, we've got also a very wide uh, uh, alumni network of 16,000 graduate students who are working uh, worldwide, not only in France, and we've got more than 2,500 uh, company partners of ESCA. Important for you sir, to know uh, is uh, the ranking of ESCA. So on the left part, you can see our ranking in France, we number one or number two on different criteria for undergraduate program, and worldwide we are classified 56, so out of the best 100 business schools worldwide. And uh, to give you an idea, uh, because a business school is also about research, our faculty members do a lot of research and we're ranked number eight, specifically on sustainable management publication. Uh, Ellen will come back a bit later on, on, on this part, so we'll very quick. We've got eight different campuses, like we said before, uh, six different ones in France and one in Budapest, Hungary, and one in Shanghai, China. ESCA has got very, very strong link with the corporate world. Uh, to give you an idea, and that's most important for you, nearly every year you will have to do internship. Uh, we've got nearly 80,000 uh, 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 job offers and internship offer per year. So uh, nearly 10 per student. So that gives you an aspect of our strong network of companies uh, partners. Uh, but also company will come to do conference, uh, alumni also uh, will come to do conference, we'll organize workshops uh, to um, uh, help our students to improve some part of the uh, of their curriculum. And um, also our students will uh, do uh, company visits. So you will be able to visit by yourself some of our partner. Uh, that's very important for us that we have a very strong link between uh, companies and uh, our business school. To give you some of the big name we're working with, uh, some of the logo here, you will may know them. Of course, uh, Apple, uh, some big uh, bank, um, uh, advertising companies, um, consulting companies, luxury brand like LVMH, uh, industrial. It's very, very, just some example of them. Uh, as I said, we've got more than 2,500 company partner worldwide. Uh, of course, doing a business school, uh, the first target for us is uh, the success of our student when they graduate. Not only to get a degree, 
very important, of course, but after your first job, your career. That's what we are very, very proud of. Um, most of our students, 81% exactly, will sign the first contract before the end of their study and the rest of them in less than three months after graduation. Um, also, uh, very important for us, us, us graduate students are certified with their first contract that match their professional goal, and they are recruited by the company they wanted to work for. And now we'll give uh, the talk to Ellen. Thank you, Vincent. So uh, now on the second part, uh, so I will uh, do a focus on our undergraduate program and especially uh, the Bachelor in International Management, which is the three year program. We also have a Grand Ecole program, but which is a five year uh, program. So just to compare both programs, so in yellow, you have the Bachelor in International Management, which we also call BMI. Uh, so it's tailored for more students who want more like a practical oriented approach with a strong international uh, experience with uh, one semester up to one year abroad. Uh, and it also gives you a fast access to the job market. So as I said, it's a three year program. The Programme Grand École is a five year program. Uh, it's a program fully taught in English uh, on our Paris, Angers, Lyon and Budapest campuses. Um, and it's also regarding the internships, we have an, a mandatory internship and also an option uh, for a semester abroad. So regarding the, the tuition fees for the Bachelor in International Management, uh, it is uh, 8,210 euros per academic year. So now it's uh, more about the, the program, the bachelor program, more in details. So, um, so as I said, it's fully taught in English on the campus I mentioned. Uh, it's also important to note that it's one of the first uh, bachelor in France, uh, which was accredited uh, grade de licence by the French Ministry of Higher Education. Uh, so regarding the organization, uh, the first year is more about uh, for the student to acquire the, the fundamentals of business uh, with uh, courses like uh, operational project management, communication, economics, finance, for example, and regarding the experience abroad. Uh, so the, the student have a, an internship in France or abroad uh, from six to eight weeks. Uh, so the second year of the Bachelor in International Management is more to deepen the understanding of the, the fundamentals of business uh, and developing intercultural skills. So you also have courses like finance management, uh, international business, uh, marketing, uh, business management. And so during the second year, uh, you can choose either to have an international semester in a partner university. Uh, you can also spend a semester uh, in our Shanghai or Budapest campus. Or if you want, you can also uh, choose to do an internship uh, abroad in a company. Uh, and then the third year of the Bachelor in International Management is more about uh, specialization uh, to prepare yourself for employment. So uh, during the third year, you will have the choice between five different uh, specializations, which are international business developer. You have also a, a entrepreneurship and innovation, a marketing, e-business development and sports management. Uh, and so at the end of the, the third year of the program, uh, you will have a final internship, uh, which is six month internship uh, with a professional thesis. So that's about the organization, your general organization of the of the Bachelor in International Management. So here's a, a testimonial of our one of our students uh, who currently studies at uh, SK Budapest. So uh, she really points out, uh, Victoria really points out the excellence of the, 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 the bachelor program. Uh, she also said that SK is a very good choice if you really want uh, an international atmosphere. And she said that uh, being an SK student at Budapest campus is like being a member of a huge family. Okay, so that's for the testimonial. And so we will now uh, welcome on stage uh, Valentina Beroma Goan uh, for our uh, sharing session. Uh, so Valentina is from uh, Mexico. And so I will ask her a couple of questions or on her experience at SK Paris. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Valentina. 
I'm from Mexico, as, as Elena already mentioned, and I'm in my first year of the bachelor program. Um, I'm new to Paris. This is my first semester here. Never before have I, had I visit. Um, so far, I'm really liking it. It's really challenging, but it's a really complete experience, and I'm learning so so much so so much different things. Um, I'm really happy at ESCA, but to get like further into the subject, I'm gonna let uh, Helen ask me some questions, and after, if you have also one que any questions, I can I'll, I'll be happy to answer. Thanks, Valentina. Uh, so my first question. Um, so why did you decide to study a bachelor in France and why at ESCA? Uh, well, I chose France because of ESCA. Um, I was looking into the best international schools there are in the world, it didn't matter where. And I came across ESCA that has, as it was mentioned before, it has a three accreditations for a good international business school. That's uh, the Equi, Samba and AACSB, right? Um, so that was a really important point for me. Also that you get a practical experience while you're studying was really important. I really wanted to combine my studies with uh, work internships and practical experience. So it was really important for me that I could do it while I studied without like having to choose one over the other. And also it was um, really interesting that I get to choose if I wanna work abroad or if I wanna study abroad. So it had the international experience, it has the accreditations I was looking for, and it has uh, the approach of practical approach into the international business world. So those were my three key points. Okay, thanks. And this year, what what is the course you like the most at ESCA and why? Mm, that's that's a hard question, but um, I think I will go with CSR. That's corporate and social responsibility. Um, it's a brand new branch of the businesses where they need to focus on growing their economic their profit and their economy in general, taking care of the environment, the people, and obviously the money. So it's how to integrate every aspect to grow a sustainable business. So for me, that would be, and it was also really practical, practical the course, we had a debate, uh, you had a team, you had to prepare with everyone. And it was based on actual facts of uh, Primark, but I don't know if you know that, that brand, a uh, fast fashion brand. So it was really amazing how we could actually use um, hard information on what's happening right now and apply it to our learning. Okay, interesting. And what is your best experience so far in Paris? What, uh, for example, surprised you when you first arrived? Well, food is amazing, certainly. Um, that's not a question, but it's amazing that you actually do have the opportunity to travel a lot easier than in other parts of the world. So um, it's cheap, it's accessible. It's amazing that being a student has so many benefits. Like you can go to a lot of museums and it's not, it's free. Others have a reduced cost. Uh, you can move around in public transport paying less because you're a student. So if you really learn how to take advantage of the of being a student in France is amazing and you can really, really take advantage of being so, so close to other countries. So that's amazing. I, I would say the the opportunity that I have to travel around and not spend so much money on it and have a cultural approach to the city because I'm a student that those are my top my top things. Okay, okay. And finally, if you could give two tips or more tips, if you want, to high school students who like to apply to the bachelor at ESCA, what would it be? Mm, for, ah, that's interesting. <laughs> there are a lot of tips. Um, first of all, I would say open mind because you're going to arrive in, it can be sometimes a little bit too much. Like for me, I don't even know French. I'm learning French right now, clearly but it, it can become a little bit too much. But once you are out of that anxiety that you are taking on too much, it's amazing. Like getting along with your with your peers in school and everything. And actually in, I don't know other campus, but in Paris, we are a small group of international students. 
which actually actually made us bond even better. Like our our class is really close because we are we're not many international students. And another tip would be um, be 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 sure that you're like put everything into it because it's a really amazing experience. Um, it's an experience that it's it, it has helped me grow even personally. So take like have that sense of adventure when you come here, obviously taking care of your studies and everything, but also don't only close yourself to school, like use this experience to actually grow in every aspect of your life, academically, professionally, socially, because you're going to have the opportunity to meet so many people, uh, so many professors that are are not actually professors, but they have done so much with their lives, lives in so, so ch such short time that it's really inspiring. Okay, okay. Thanks so much, Valentina, uh, for sharing your experience with us today. I think that was very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so now I will uh, focus on uh, the application process. If you want to, to apply to one of our programs, uh, so basically it's a rolling process throughout the year. So you can apply any time during the year. Just bear in mind that the application deadline is at the end of June 2022 for the intake of September 2022 at the beginning of September. Um, so yeah, it's an online application. Uh, so basically you have to fill up an online application form on our website and the application fee, once you have completed your application online, you have to pay the application fee, which are uh, 80 euros or 90 euros, depending on the program you want to apply. So you have to fill up all this online application form and to submit the following documents that I will uh, mention just after. So we have like, a, we require uh, an official academic transcripts of the last two years of secondary uh, education. Uh, with the grades and the diploma awarded. Uh, of course, if you, it's, it's, you, if you don't have your diploma yet, because usually you get it at the end of the year, probably in June, it's okay. You can, you can always um, give it to us after. It's also possible uh, for your registration. Uh, uh, and of course, if, you, if your documents are not in English or in French, which is totally under, understandable, you, uh, you have to translate them into English or French by an institution. So usually in your country, you have probably Alliance Francaise or, and they do the translation of the official documents. So this is good to know uh, about the official documents that you need to, uh, to provide us uh, when you apply for one of our program. Uh, then, regarding the language requirements, uh, we require B2 level of English for our English top programs uh, with an official proficiency test. So uh, the most well known are, for example, the IELTS, uh, the British one, we have the TOEFL, uh, we accept also Cambridge, we also accept Duolingo and some others. Uh, also, you have to submit your CV or resume. Uh, you have also have to submit your letter of motivation. Uh, we're explaining all motivation why or why you why you want to apply for the program. And also, this is uh, optional. But if you have letters of recommendation, you can also submit uh, submit it to the on the application uh, portal. Uh, this is also uh, this is like bonus for your application. Uh, then, uh, if you're uh, if you're selected, uh, you will be invited for an online application uh, admission interview in English uh, with our admission team. Uh, and if you're selected uh, after this uh, interview, uh, you will receive an admission letter after. Uh, and so this admission letter is always important. It's when, for example, you want to, you need to apply for a student visa, you will need to show proof of an admission letter proving that you have been admitted to the program. Okay, so that's for about the, the application uh, process. Uh, and now uh, we'll talk about the uh, scholarships available and the financial aid. Uh, so at ESCA, we have uh, an early bird uh, waiver policy, uh, which is 15% discount on the first year of the program. Uh, if, you, if you're admitted and you secure your place before the 31st of uh, January. 
2022. And um, also so we have uh, scholarships available for uh, undergraduates programs. Uh, so uh, this one is the Bachelor's Distinction Scholarship, which is up to uh, 2000 euros uh, on the tuition fees. And it's open to international candidates who are already admitted uh, to the Grand Ecole program or the Bachelor in International Management. And um, so uh, regarding the, the criteria to get uh, a scholarship, so we look at the academic record, of course, but also the non-academic um, um, uh, criteria. Uh, we look also for diversity, uh, community service also, uh, volunteering activities also, uh, and the international outlook. Uh, so these are all the criteria uh, which are considered, uh, which will be considered by the ESCA scholarship committee. Okay, and so for this year, we will have four rounds of scholarship applications. Uh, so the first deadline, for example, for round the first round will be uh, on January the 17th. Okay, uh, also regarding accommodation, uh, it's uh, important to know that you can get also a potential financial aid from the French gov government. If you apply soon enough uh, to the program, uh, you can get help also uh, regarding uh, accommodation. Uh, so now on this slide, uh, you can see on the, the left, uh, the map of France uh, with all the, the city where our campuses are located. Okay, so we have Angers, which is uh, our historical campus. We have Paris, uh, we have Lyon, uh, Bordeaux, uh, Aix-en-Provence. So, uh, and soon we will open a new campus in Strasbourg, which is uh, in the east uh, part of France. Okay, so for September, 2022. And we also have two campus, campuses abroad in uh, Shanghai in China and in Budapest, Hungary. Okay, so now I will talk about the, those campuses. So the first one being Angers. So Angers is a town uh, in the west of France, uh, which is one hour and 30 minutes by train from Paris. Uh, it's known as a World Heritage Region. You have many castles in the region, very nice landscapes. Uh, it's one of the greenest cities in France. Um, and it has lots of companies in uh, different sectors. Uh, and it's also um, an important city for students. There are more like 40,000 students in Angers. And then how not to mention uh, our Paris campus. Um, so here, uh, Paris campus, so the, it's very well located in Paris, actually it's by La, La, La Seine, the river. Um, it's in one of the wealthiest and safest districts of Paris, uh, and it's also very close to public transport. So you have the metro, which is uh, two minutes away from ESCA. Uh, and also, uh, you probably know if you like sports, um, so we have uh, ESCA is very close to the uh, tennis field, uh, which is called uh, Roland Garros. I don't know if you're following this. And then also, if you like football, uh, we have uh, the Paris team, Paris Saint-Germain uh, football stadium, which is very close to ESCA as well. Um, OK, so and then um, it's uh, located in uh, a district of Paris, which is very important in terms of companies headquarters. So you have like very international companies which are located nearby ESCA. Uh, like uh, LVMH, for example, or Renault, and so on. Uh, then uh, Lyon campus uh, is also a campus where you can study the Bachelor in International Management in English. Uh, so Lyon is one of the most beautiful cities in France and the second largest French city in terms of economics. Uh, it's located in a, um, a very uh, active uh, area, in modern area in, in Lyon, which is called Confluence. So you have some pictures on the right of the campus uh, and it's uh, brand new. Okay, so now I will um, make a quick focus on our um, Eska Budapest campus. So it's uh, Budapest is the capital of Hungary. Of Hungary. Um, so it's one of the most beautiful and most affordable uh, cities in Europe. Uh, it's also known as a regional 
uh, retail and logistic hub and it's uh, quite small so you can you can go to other uh, neighboring countries like for example if you want to to travel to Vienna to Croatia is you're in Central Europe so you have the opportunity to travel uh, through Europe um, you're not that far uh, also the campus was established in 1993 uh, and it's located at the, the heart of the capital city uh, next to the Danube River and it also has a very uh, lively student uh, community. So here you can see some uh, pictures of beautiful Budapest here with the Danube River and here the architecture. Okay, so if you're more if, if you're interested in discovering more our campuses, because we have many, uh, I encourage you to go on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you can see all our brand new video of the of all our campus. Uh, as Vincent mentioned before, we the, the employment rate is quite high at ESCA, and most of our graduates, the alumni, uh, works in many different uh, sectors. Uh, for example, uh, we have here uh, one of our alumni, Guillaume Le Prince, who, uh, who works um, at Airbus uh, Helicopters Japan as the managing director. So in aeronautics, for example, you can work also in the luxury industry, as we have here uh, Stephanie Nussman, who is an uh, alumni and she's now the general director of Chanel Singapore. Uh, you can also work in IT. Uh, uh, we have one alumni here, uh, Jérôme Bertou, who is the head of MarTech partnership at Google. So uh, as I said, yeah, Eskai will give you plenty of opportunity for your employability. So, uh, and, and you can work in many different fields. Okay. So uh, I think this is it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. Um, I hope you enjoy the presentations. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, you can still write an email to us. So I've put here the contact of Valentina if you want to know more about the, the student experience in Paris at SK Paris. And you can e also email me on this, uh, my personal address here. Uh, if you want to know more about the programs or the admission process, feel free to uh, drop me an email. Uh, also, you have on the on the right side of the screen, you can you have a QR code uh, that you can scan if you want to book a one on one meeting uh, with me. Uh, so you can directly go to my uh, calendar and book a meeting if you want to discuss discuss further uh, your study project at ESCA. So now I think it's this time for our Q&A session. So now I will uh, I think I will go through the questions because I think uh, most uh -huh. of Sure, sure. If you just keep the uh, the contact us page up, just in case anyone wants to take a screenshot of that whilst we are talking. Uh, so let's go over to the question. So the first question I have here. Hi, will I be able to get my COVID vaccination when I move there or do I need to have this beforehand? Uh, so this is, well, it will depend on the countries and everything. Yeah. But uh, I, think this I, think, America, yeah. Uh, I think things will get easier when you have the vaccination first, but then we, it will depend on the situation and how it evolves. Yes, and I will add that uh, uh, I encourage yourself to go directly on the Campus France website of your country uh, and you have all the COVID situation rules, uh, what to apply to, because it could be different from one country to another one. Uh, but don't worry, uh, last year we had the COVID situation, of course, and uh, international students were uh, very welcome to France, uh, and they had to do sometimes they, they have to do a, a PCR test before coming, and they get the vaccine um, a shot in France. Some of them did it uh, in their own country. The only rules I will say is to check on the Campus France website uh, before you arrive in France, few months or few weeks before, and you got all the updated rules because it's an evolv evolving situation. Of course. And would I gain some advice and help in deciding which degree I will choose? Can I network alongside my degree? So yes, of course, uh, for advice and help, I strongly encourage you to uh, book a meeting with me to discuss your study project. So if you have any doubts, uh, we can discuss together to see which program is the best fit for you. Yeah, this is, this is, a, this is a, yeah, I would suggest, yeah. Okay. And for the networking alongside the program, 
as we said before, uh, you, you have three kinds of networking. You will do friendship, uh, or corporate world networking, of course, uh, that's very important for yourself, and a specific network also with your teacher, where most of them are also professional and can help you all along your study. Great. And are classes online or are they in person at the moment? So for now, they're on in person. Yeah. With the COVID situation last year, we, we had classes online and a hybrid also, but now we are uh, fully, um, yeah, on. And very important to add, France was never closed school um, uh, uh, last year during the highest peak of the COVID situation. We had few parts of the year where we are fully online, but our main goal was to come back fully on campus. So that's what's happening uh, since uh, quite a lot of months now. Great. And can I work alongside my degree? So yes, you're eligible to work during your studies because uh, your student visa uh, gives you access to work if you want. But of course, you have a, a maximum hours that you should not um, uh, go further. So you have, but yeah, you have the possibility to have a student job during your studies. Yeah. To give you an idea, I check in between the presentation. You can work up to twenty hours per week uh, in average. Uh, but of course, during your study, you will need to focus on your study first. And if you've got a bit of extra time, you can do a, a part-time job on site. Perfect. And this might go to Valentina, but what are the extracurricular activities that you have available? And can I join when I come? So this is a really interesting question because we have a lot of clubs, a lot, a lot of clubs. We have even sailing. We have... Uh, photography, we have music club, we have many different clubs. Um, and yes, you can join. Actually, the first day that everyone's going to be arriving at school, there's like a small fair where you can see what other students are doing and they present this to you. It's totally optional. Um, it's it only the only important is that you're interested in. And it's actually a pretty nice way to bond with other students from other years also, but that are in the same track in school. Great, thank you. And what would you say is the one thing that can make your application stand out? Um, I would say that ESCA considers a lot also personal experience, community work that you've done, or maybe traveling um, that you have had different, knowing different cultures. So show obviously that you are a great student but do also emphasize on what experiences as a person you have lived so far. Great, and Helen, what would you say from the school's perspective? So for the application tips, so yeah, I would say it's important, okay, to have a good academic uh, background, but also to have, to show that you have activities that you, you for example, you have a, an international outlook to your CV, for example, if you, if you traveled before, it's important to mention it. So yeah, this would be also my advice if you want to apply for the bachelor. Great, and can I gain accommodation and visa advice beforehand? Sure, sure. We, we provide help regarding accommodation and visa. Uh, for example, for accommodation, we, um, we actually we work closely with uh, accommodation student services. So once, for example, the students are admitted to the program, we always keep in touch with the, uh, for example, the course or student uh, services. Uh, so they can, for example, they can secure rooms for the students that are admitted to the programs. Okay, perfect. And I think you already touched on this, but you offer internship opportunities, correct? So yeah, we do have lots of, as Vincent mentioned, we have lots of uh, internship opportunities for our students because ESCA has a very wide network of uh, companies, uh, partners. So uh, we, we can help, of course, the students to find this internship and to find the company. But of course, we want the students also to find uh, his in internship uh, by himself. But of course, we can help also to, to find an internship and to choose a company. Great. Um, do you have any advice for networking? It, would you say going out and speaking to more uh, companies in French or in, in English? What would you suggest? 
Yeah, I think for networking, it would be good, like as I said before, the association to be part of an association and meet uh, the other students, the French or the international students can be interesting. Also, ESCA will probably organize some events throughout the year with companies. So it's also a good time for you to network with uh, also with academics or with uh, companies. Yes. Great. And lastly, what is the average cost of living for an international student? So for an international student, uh, the cost of living, so it will depend on which city you are based. Uh, of course, Paris is our capital city, is a bit more expensive than the other cities. So it will depend, I think the, the cost of living, a monthly cost of living will be about uh, 600 to 1000 euros per, per month. So it's actually, it, it depends and on, on other cities. For example, the, the total uh, cost of living for a month will be maybe about 400, uh, 600. It depends on the city where you're located. Okay, brilliant. Well, I think that comes to the end of our questions. Oh, we've got one more that's just come in. Um, if I want to study next year, what would be the application deadline? I think you had deadlines on a slide previously. Yeah, so yeah, as I said before, I can show again the, the slide, but it's in June, right? Uh, June, June of 2022. Yeah, so it will be June at the end of June uh, 2022. Yeah. But okay. we encourage you to uh, to apply a long time before because you need to after to apply for a student visa and that takes time also yeah. find accommodation. So we strongly encourage you not to apply at the, the end of June. Yeah, if you the, the sooner the better. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so, so much for a wonderful presentation. Hello to everyone on Facebook. And if you do get a chance to watch this uh, in, in your emails to those who have registered, uh, please do. And then if you have any questions, forward them over to us and we can always pass them on to ESCA School of Management for you. Uh, any last words, Helen? Uh, I think I'm okay. Thank you very <laughs> much for, for coming today, all of you. We're very happy to be here today. Brilliant. And thank you all for your questions. They have been wonderful. And um, we hope to see you again soon and for your application to ask us all of management. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Good night, wherever you are. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.